looking forward to practice today. Uh, uh, got a little bit of a scrimmage. That'll be a great opportunity for us to try to simulate the real thing as best we can. And uh, you know, tough to, to lose Irv. Um, uh, tremendous player has been having a great uh, preseason and off season, and uh, has done everything right. And um, that's just one of the tough breaks in this game. Um, but he's so young. He's got a lot of good football ahead of him. And so this is just going to be a, a bump in the road in the in the long scheme of things. But um, Looking forward to uh, the challenge, getting ready for Cincinnati, and uh, um, yeah, with that, I'll take any questions you have. What do you try to do with Herman like, when he gets here to you know, get him up to speed? Hey, what was the that to do? Yeah, that's exactly what you're trying to do, get him up to speed. Um, you know, he's been in this league a while, so uh, there's a level of just understanding what it takes no matter what team you're on. Uh, I remember when I came here from, from Washington, you know, the, there's a large part of it that, that is plug and play, and you're ready to go, and then there's obviously a lot to learn, too. Our coaches will do a great job as well, getting him caught up to speed. Uh, Brian Periani will do a great job. But um, uh, whether it's staying after practice together, whether it's extra meeting time, uh, you know, just good conversation, dialogue to make sure you know he's able to pick it up as fast as possible. You mentioned Irv doing everything right. What kind of season did you think he was headed toward? Yeah, I mean, he's just a great football player and uh, no reason to think he wasn't going to have a, a great year. but. You know, he's, he's got a lot of good football ahead of him, so I, I would expect in uh, uh, whenever he's back, you know, the, the same great player that, that he was last year and, and was this August. Like Zimmer said the other day, that maybe you guys look three wide more in the absence of her. How, how do you feel depth there is at wide Yeah, I feel really good about our options. Uh, there are certainly a variety of ways you can uh, pivot, you know, like bringing in Chris. Um, and so it's kind of remains to be seen because we still got some work to do and get some people in here and and uh, it could change week to week too just based on what we feel is our best option against that defense against that look so it's probably a pretty fluid situation where is Edie? I know that he came back and took a little bit to get out yeah. there practice but where is he showing you I guess the biggest stride so far um, he showed up uh, practiced days are running together now either Sunday or Monday he was in the two minute with us did a great job and uh, uh He's played a lot of football, so you know he's also a guy who's, who's pretty plug and play, you know, ready to go. And um, you know, again, it's more about just continuing to give him those opportunities. And, and uh, I'm really excited about what he can do for us. Kirk, when you um, learn a new receiver of any kind, a rookie, whatever, what are the signs for you when sort of you have you feel like you have that connection and establish that trust? Like, yes, I'm going to throw the ball. And yeah, I think it's making the unexpected play. Um, you know, last year with Justin, there was a few where you're like, this is going to be tough, and then he comes down with it, and you're like, that's pretty good. So I think it's just making the plays you're not expecting a guy to make. Uh, that's kind of how you separate yourself. And, and uh, you know, coaches start to then say, hey, we got to formate the plays where he's going to be the first guy in the read or he's going to get the ball. Uh, so you go out there and you just try to put good stuff on tape and earn your way through. And I appreciate the West Michigan Whitecaps hat, too. Nice job there. That's a good question. Um, I think it's, if anything, just having him, the fact that he's been the quarterback coach for two years with me, I think it allows our communication to be uh, really on the same page. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that part of it. I, I, I don't, haven't found myself debriefing practice with him or a game and not basically be finishing each other's sentences or before I can explain myself, he's already, you know, totally understands where I'm coming from. So that's been really, really great to have. And I think that goes back to two years of us dialoguing day in and day out. And, um, and so uh, you know, I think that's real positive. Kirk, what have you learned about dealing with moving parts in your career when guys, you know, get hurt suddenly, you know, you're missing a running back, missing a tight end. What, what have you learned about responding to that? Um, change is such a big part of this business, and you have to be able to adapt. Um, it'll always, you know, there'll always be curveballs thrown at us, and um, you have to find a way to still go out and deliver and produce. So, uh, you know, you're you're always looking to find that way. And uh, if anything, you kind of expect change to happen so that you're not caught off guard when it does. Um, but it's a big part of lasting in this league and having success consistently is to find a way to be resilient and to be able to uh, still produce no matter what may change uh, in your environment. Kirk, a lot to say about chemistry, you know, you grow chemistry, 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 you grow 
Yeah, um, you know, and, and it happens throughout the season. You, it's amazing when you look at week 16, 17, 18, what the locker room is from what it was week one, just because of the change that happens and players get hurt. And, um, you know, it's kind of an unfortunate part of the story of every football season. So you learn to to adapt with it and uh, and then also to still have, you know, a good core group that, that's there that, you know, it's good uh, good culture, good way of doing things. So when you do add pieces, uh, people can observe and say, hey, this is how they work, this is how they operate, this is how they prepare. And, and uh, people can jump right on and keep going. But, um, you know, that's one of the, the challenges of uh, being able to have success week in and week out and year in and year out is the change that, that happens. All right, thanks so much.